Credit scores play a big role in determining whether you qualify for a loan or a credit card and what those terms will be. But how about if you have already caused damage to your credit and you need to improve your score so you can qualify for better rates? Stay tuned because today I am sharing 11 easy steps you can take to improve your credit score. I release tons of real estate content to help you understand and stay informed about the real estate market. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, let's get started with these steps because we have a lot to cover. First and foremost, get your free credit report and score. You can download one free credit report each year at annualcreditreport.com and if you want to get your credit score, you can sign up for free at creditkarma.com. Step number two is to check for errors in your credit report. If you find any errors, correct them immediately. Contact the lender to let them know about the error as well. Next is to get bad marks off your credit report. Bad marks are missed payments but you can contact the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to help you arrive at an agreement with the lender to get those bad marks off of your credit report. On my blog post, I go more into depth on how to file a complaint. The link is below for anyone who is interested in finding out more. Fourth step is to stay current on your bills and on any agreement you have made with lenders. Fifth. Freeze credit reports. As a consumer, you have the right to freeze your credit report so lenders won't have access to it. Lenders are not able to report nor check any information on your credit when you freeze your credit. Next, create debt to have a good credit. In order to have good credit, you must have debt. That is actually one of the main factors that determines a credit score and I have discussed that on this video right up here. So you'll want to create some debt in order to have good credit. 7. Combine hard inquiries into one. Now that you have to create some debt, um, you will want to consider the impact of hard inquiries on your credit score. Each hard inquiry have an impact of about five to six points on your score. However, multiple inquiries about your credit score from the same type of lender are counted as one if submitted over a short period of time. Also, when applying for credit cards, consider applying for three to five credit cards on the same day from the same company this will also be combined into one hard inquiry instead of multiple, even though you are applying for multiple credit cards. Number eight, shop smart for credit cards. Now that you are in the market for credit cards, there are a lot of things to consider. First and foremost are what kind of credit cards are best for you. And this truly varies from person to person depending on the needs and wants of each person. Check out the US credit card guide to help you arrive at a decision that best suits your needs. Next is manage different types of credits. Lenders like to see that you can manage all types of credits such as loans, credit cards, line of credit, and so forth. Number 10, we're almost done, hang in there. Avoid finance companies. Even if you pay off their loan on time, the interest is high and it may be considered as a sign of poor credit management. Last but not least, do not use all credit that is available to you. Only spend what you have available on your bank account today. Just because you have a $2,000 or a $5,000 credit limit, it does not mean you have that money unless it is in your bank account. Use credit card with the purpose of accumulating points, mileages, 
cash back and to pay for certain items and services that only accept credit cards such as car rentals and hotels. So there you have it, 11 easy steps to improve your credit score. Let me know if you liked this video and if it brought you some kind of value, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a meaningful day. Bye now.